Foremost means more. More training, more information, more ways to grow your business. Find out what Foremost can mean for you at foremostagent.com. Click on Foremost means more. As an expert in communications and reputation management, Richard Levick, CEO of Levick, is frequently asked whether executives should be active social media participants. Levick says that's the wrong question in this interview with Carrier Management Suzanne Sclafane. The right question is the risk of reading a newspaper, the risk of sticking to traditional media. That's where the exposure is. Yes, there's always the wayward tweet that causes embarrassment or a problem for a CEO, but those are the outliers. At the end of the day, the high risk are not getting involved. You know, for those of you who are watching this video, I'd ask the question, how many of you are still reading a paper newspaper? Because if you are, I think the risks are really high. One, you're reading history, not news. Two, you want to advertise it on the subway as you sit there reading these tablets. Three, is that you're saying you like this one-way conversation that's not interactive. And four, you're spending not 20 minutes a day, but 130 hours a year reading this old form of media when you could be learning and becoming more comfortable with social media. At least that way, you know what you have to ask and what you need to know. Well, you know, a lot of people, I think, will use the example of Reed Hastings and Netflix and posting on, uh, on Facebook that uh, he had uh, one, that Netflix now had one billion hours of uh, video downloaded. Uh, and I think that's uh, an absurd example. And, and Reed Hastings, as he has so often in the past over the last 10 years, really shown us the way forward uh, when it comes, in, in this case, with the entertainment industry. More people. 246,000 people follow him on Facebook. Tell me, which company has 246,000 people who are reading their 8Ks and their 10Qs? Regulation FD, full disclosure, is all about fair disclosure. It's all about evening the playing field. Uh, so I think that the SEC in that case really has to throw away its typewriters and its carrier pigeons and start thinking about how it is that CEOs and others engage in full and fair uh, disclosure. Of course there are topics that shouldn't be covered, but that's true in all communications. The issue is integrity and honesty. And we should be, you know, I'm a lawyer by training. We need, obviously, to listen to our lawyers, but they need to be on the bus, not driving the bus. Let us not use risk as a total bar for participating, from participating in the revolution. While some see negative customer reactions as a big risk emerging from social media, Levick has a different view. And even an insurance industry example, like the Twitter backlash that greeted AIG when its boards considered joining Maurice Greenberg's lawsuit against the government, doesn't cause him to think differently. I'm a former professor of constitutional law, and I'm a big fan of the Jeffersonian ideal, the concept of the marketplace of ideas. And that's what we have now. For the last 50 years, we have grown lazy and comfortable with this advertising model. If we wanted to control the narrative, we just paid, wrote a big enough check, and we could control the conversation. Advertising. We knew the half dozen or dozen analysts who covered our publicly traded company. We knew the 10 or 20 reporters whose beat it was to cover our company. And that was a very Republican form, small r, very Republican form of communications. And we were experts. There were only three TV networks. There was an AM and a PM paper. The world is much different now. And getting people to tweet negatively about us, as long as it's under control, as it was, for example, in AIG, that's called polling. How helpful for the board to know that people found this to be, in fact, anathema to what they thought a great company who has just come out of TARP and made the government profitable and shown the wisdom of that investment, to turn around and file suit uh, and pit taxpayers against shareholders. So I thought it was very helpful. Uh, it was a couple of days of, of bad news that ver very much helped the board make a very smart decision.